many of us, we don't like who we are. You know, if I could sort of print out the internal commentary within my head when I was 24 or 25, I mean, it was brutal, man. It was brutal. I hated myself with a very specific kind of intensity. And the way that I talked to myself was terrible. You know, it was abusive and it was violent and it was cruel and it was mean. And, it was, you know, I was just constantly beating the crap out of myself. Anytime I got something wrong with a woman, anytime that I, you know, did anything wrong in my life, I mean, I just took a peg out of myself. And I think that that's the case for a lot of men. Like one of the exercises that I'll, I'll do at a weekend is I'll get all the guys to write down their inner dialogues. So I'll say, you no, know, when you screw up, how do you talk to yourself? Write it out on a piece of paper, give them a couple minutes. And then I partner them up with another man that they've connected with, you know, in the past couple of days. And I said, okay, cool read that off to him and speak it to him as if you're talking to him. Now, every single dude's like, no, like I like this guy. I don't want to shit talk him like that. I want to talk to him like that's terrible. Okay, well, then why are you doing that to yourself? I think the nice thing about get, stripping away the technology, getting out into nature, being around other men, we can actually begin to clear the way to see what's going on in our heads, hearts, and bodies. Are we really struggling with something from our past, you know, from our, our family, our upbringing? Are we still carrying some heartbreak from a previous relationship that failed or, you know, didn't work out? You know, are we dealing with some bitterness or resentment in our current relationship that's sort of poisoning the waters of our intimacy and, and sexual connection? Like what's actually going on? And if we don't create time to do that, then life will just continue to tidal wave over you. You know, sometimes you have to get out of the ocean to kind of pick your path to swim out and see where you want to surf. But if you never do that, I mean, you can get pulled into the rocks pretty quick. So I think that's one of the big ones. And then, you know, this, this secondary piece in terms of being around other men and having these conversations, I think that we've undervalued and underestimated the importance of having real transparent conversations with other men to humanize the shit that we all go through and deal with. You know, the amount of weekends and workshops that I've led where, you know, men have talked about experiencing abuse as a kid or being bullied, you know, or really feeling like they struggle and having deep social anxiety with women. I mean, these are just all common things, but it's just not what we are normally talking about at the bar, you know, or after work with our buddies. It's just not the normal dialogue. And so we kind of need to have an opportunity to shift that culture and then bring it back, you know, into our everyday relationships. And I, I think those types of moments provide that. Plus, they allow us to really dig into seeing and hearing ourselves in other men. You know, I think that's one of the, and it's hard to, to really present the value of that, you know, but really seeing yourself like, oh, man, I went through that too, you know, or oh, I struggle with that as well. And we get out of this like lone wolf mentality. Like I'm the only one that struggles with talking to girls. You know, <laughs> I'm the only one that struggles in approaching women or I'm the only one that, you know, had an abusive parent as a kid. It's like, no, no, brother, like that's not, that's not true at all. And, you know, I think that grief, sadness, anxiety, anger, these types of things are best processed when they're shared. You know, you can go and hit, hit a pillow or, you know, hit a punching bag and, and get some of your anger out. But to have somebody else witness the anger that you've been carrying from being bullied as a kid or feeling outcast from your family, that changes something because now you're no longer carrying it alone.